So many of my subscribers have been wanting me to talk about Susan, the whole Susan Rice situation based on the comments that I saw be left under the video I did addressing the so-called response that Gail King recently did after her interview interrogation. I'm sorry with Lisa Leslie. Well, here is what I have to say about this. Susan Rice, like Stale King and Okra, the Mammy Supreme Wig Free, have now pretty much formed themselves up to be like a trinity and they can all eat a dick. Point blank, period. So you can see that we have Snoop um, and Susan Rice in this picture right here. And basically, we all know what Snoop said. He basically, like a lot of us, are very upset, and rightfully so, at what Stale King did in her little antics when she interviewed Lisa Leslie a couple days ago. And a lot of people had some things to say about it and whatnot. And then, you know, Okra, the Mammy Supreme, went and ran interference in saying how people have been giving her death threats, even though, like I said, I believe she's been over embellishing that, to be quite honest. And now in comes Susan Rice, a person who is often and I mean very often quiet when it comes to relations of black people in this establishment. From what I've heard, I think she's she is a she is she does come from immigrants. I believe one of her parents is Jamaican. So she's not even an American born um, black individual. And I think she the only one that might be considered that, quote unquote, is her son. And we're going to get on that part because it's something right there that a lot of people aren't touching on. And, of course, she's also married to a white man. There's that. So it doesn't surprise me that she's coming out and saying things. But anyway, she basically came out and said against Snoop that. In a way that she like, if you're going to threaten Gail King, then we're going to send an army after you and it's not going to be pretty. First of all, Snoop wasn't threatening Stale King's life. None of none of us were actually nobody talking about her was saying we're going to go after her in a physical and violent way. What we were saying is that she's going to get hers and we're going to try to mess up her bag because Well, she deserves it. She is sneaky, underhanded, and she has been exposed. Finally, the buck stops here. But then Susan Rice got onto her platform and said she's going to send an army after Snoop and that it's not going to be pretty. Now, when you hear something like that coming from someone in her position in a very high position, I guess you can say political position, say that to somebody who would she who she might even consider to be beneath her. That doesn't look too pretty now, does it, Susan Rice? Because now it sounds like you're threatening somebody else. And it's amazing. Like I said, it's amazing of all the people that have come out to run interference for Stale King after what she did. Do you want to know why the Haitian Revolution was so successful? Because before they killed off one enemy, they had to get rid of another enemy. And that was the enemy from within. We have a lot of enemies from within. And the more they run interference for Gail, for Stale King, the more they will continue to last. But see, what they hate is the fact that we are tackling the enemy from within. And Susan Rice and Okra, the Mammy Supreme and Stale King and many others, Mark Lemoyce Hill, Roland Martin, Michael Larry Dyson, whoever else are enemies within from within. Now, I know I said I was going to talk about the sun. Now, I actually found out about this today. To my knowledge, I believe Susan Rice's son goes to some elite Ivy League school. I want to say it's either Stanford or Harvard. One of the two. I can't remember. And apparently there was some kind of a protest 
to get rid of one of the administrators there because of racism. So it was, I believe one of them, I believe it was a white male, a palm colored male. Do you want to guess what side Susan Rice's son was on for that protest? I'll put it to you like this. He was on the side that looks more like his dad. Meaning he was on the side of the racist. And when I heard that, I said, look at who he gets it from. Like I said before, we are done with these traitors and these treasonous people. They have ran the well dry and it is time for them to go. The buck, like I said before, stops here. And like I said, the fact that Susan Rice, who is in the position she's in, reaches down to a person that she thinks is beneath her and does this. And like I said, and from everybody who has said this, she's not a very vocal person, but she chose this time to say something. But it's amazing. I wonder if it was a black journalist that did this, who was a man. Would Susan Rice come to their defense? I wouldn't be surprised if Susan Rice was a quote unquote feminist. I wouldn't be surprised because a lot of women <clears throat> will will put their sex before their people. Like I said, she reached down and to someone who she feels is beneath her and decided to pull up all of this anger and throw it back on him in a threatening way, but then wants to say that he was threatening her. And she says, I'm going to bring in, we're going to bring an army and it's not going to be pretty. Someone tell me, does that sound threatening or not? And I was listening to a video that town biz did talking about this. And he was right. He said, Susan Rice, all you did was give Snoop more ammunition and more relevancy than he already had. Not saying that he's not any, not relevant anymore before this, but you gave him more ammo to go with. Sometimes it's best just not to say anything at all. We are in a because we are in a state where people are still grieving and mourning Kobe Bryant's death. And for people like Stel King to come out and do what she did. That's not helping the process move or transition any further, any smoother. And you would think people like Susan Rice would understand that, but she doesn't. You would think Stel King would understand it, but she doesn't. You would think the Mammy Supreme would understand it, but she doesn't because they don't care. It's funny. Susan Rice got all this smoke for Snoop, but she ain't got all that smoke for all the ones who actually deserve it. She gets quiet then, but now she says she got time today. Hmm. But it's funny because when I went to her comment section under her tweet that she posted, them people lit her ass on fire. Yeah, some people that was, you know, amening what she said, but it was a lot of people, both black, white and otherwise that were lighting her ass up in the com- in her mentions. So what does that tell you? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you haven't done so already, follow me on Twitter. Have your notifications turned on and I will talk to you in the next one.